Gold Pikachu Tag Team Box. Let's go. Got to catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video. And today, finally, we've got the Gold Pikachu and Zekrom um, GX Premium Collection Box. So at the moment, this is not available in the UK. There's rumours that it might come to a retailer at some point. But this was actually from the lovely GameStop in the United States. So when I was on my trip to Las Vegas, I got to visit a GameStop. And lo and behold, I was so happy, as you can probably imagine, being a huge Pikachu fan and, you know, YouTuber and stuff, to find the gold Pikachu and Zekrom, you know, premium collection. This thing's absolutely huge. You can barely get it on the camera. Um, for anyone that wants to see the spiel, it's all there. We've got 10 booster packs as well to open from this box so um so happy finally that you know it's available you know it's available to you know i finally finally get this card in english because i've had all of the other you know tag team cards for for so long now and um or sorry all of the other pikachu tag team cards specifically not the gold ones in anyways but i've had all of the gold tag team cards for so long now and it's just so nice to finally be able to you know get this one in um, English so I'm gonna very carefully take this promo card out without causing too much damage to it and we're going to show you how beautiful it looks so here we go here is the gold Pikachu and Zekrom GX Sun and Moon 248 promo so I'm gonna do a little you know little zoom in 4k zoom in there just so you can see the texturing in the back there absolutely beautiful so this was first released in um, GX All Stars all the way back GX Tag All Stars, all the way back in 2000 and 2019, I want to say. And for some reason, it took them almost two years to release this as a promo in English, or even for us to even get this card in English. So I'm so happy that we finally do have it because I needed one for my um, personal collection. And I was also lucky whilst I was over there to get a couple of more as well to potentially get graded and stuff. And here's the absolutely huge jumbo card. So unfortunately they did it. So it's kind of like in the style of the GX jumbos. So if you have like a newer jumbo folder, um, it, this won't fit the um, Sun and Moon um, jumbo cards, unfortunately, like it does, um, you know, like you can't fit the new, the other jumbos in, which is a bit of a shame, but um, it's still cool if you want to like frame it or display it or something. But booster packs are absolutely cracked as well. So we get a great selection here. We get one, two, three, chilling rain, two battle styles, three, okay, three evolving skies. The code card, please let me know if you play Peak Rom and Expanded and you actually end up redeeming this code. And two chilling rain booster packs, more chilling rain booster packs. So great selection. We're going to finish with the evolving skies because we want to get the most WTF epic pulls from them. Um, but we'll go, we'll go in release order of this year. So we got some battle styles to start off with. But yeah, I'm so happy to finally complete that. If I can remember, I'm going to put a photo on the screen now of what my, um, my that page looks like with all of the tag teams on it. Um, it just looks absolutely looks absolutely great to finally have all of those there together. So yeah, very happy to get the gold one in my collection. I could have gone for the Japanese version, but I think the Japanese one's probably like over a hundred dollars, and the rest were in English. So it would have been quite strange to have just the one, just have the one card in. Um, just have the one card in Japanese, but I do have other Japanese cards in my personal collection, but just not, um, just not that one. So I just need to clean my glasses. Everything's going quite fast today, right? Okay, got it. Right, back to the booster packs. But yeah, um, we've also managed to cop the. Is that thing that they used to still say today? The, the you know the. The people going to stores looking for things? I don't know, but we've managed to acquire the gold Reshiram and Charizard tag team box as well. So um, that's going to be opened hopefully next week or the week after. So keep an eye on the, out on the channel for that. Um, I would have loved to have done a lot more content leading up to Christmas. Maybe something Christmas themed, but I've got so many work projects on at the moment. Um, it's ridiculous. So I've um, been super incredibly busy. Nice meow stick hollow there. Very beautiful. But yeah, I've been so incredibly busy, so unfortunately I've not had the time or, you know, thought capacity to think about um, too many videos. So I'm just recording a couple videos today. Um, we've got the Celebrations Prime box, the Mythical Squishy box is coming up as well. But yeah, um, it's probably not going to be Poker Post this week, but it'll be back as normal next week. Because hopefully we'll have a lot of our Japanese, um, you know, 25th. Not 25, VMAX Climax singles. That's going to be the craziest poker. I'm just going to be so happy seeing all of those, um, seeing all of those cards. 
Ooh, a nice Sarah Aura V there. We've got a Lightning Friend to go with our um, Pikachu and Zekrom. So fun fact, the Sarah Aura GX used to be played quite a lot alongside Pikachu and Zekrom GX when it came out because um, it would give it free retreat when it had an electric energy on it. So that was quite a nice combo back in the day, I seem to remember. I think it was Sarah Aura GX. Yeah, it, make, it makes sense. Yeah. I think a lot of the decks also didn't bother because they were using like... Um, like lots of switches and stuff, but it was still nice to have Zero Aura as an option, especially before Lost Thunder rotated, because Lost Thunder was towards the end of a block a block of cards, and then it, we then went team up onwards, and the tag teams are just so incredibly dominant. Because um, Velocephalon GX used to be able to keep up with some of those tag teams. Thankfully, we got a Baby Blounds, that was, you know, the, the Baby Velocephalon from... Um, and Broken Bonds, that helped. That, that was quite helpful, but yeah, it was, the tag teams were so dominant. I'm kind of happy to see the back of tag teams, but also not because VMAXs are so powerful. Um, I'm sure ADP would still see play, Arcus Dialga and Palkia GX from Cosmic Eclipse. Um, because in Japan, they're using it alongside Galarian Moltres V from this set, actually, Chilling Rain, um, to help against, um, you know, Mu VMAX and all those decks that are weak to dark. So, um, it's quite a nice little combo there but apparently from january onwards um january onwards they're going to be moving to our format i think um sword and shield sets onwards so at least for uh, at least for a couple of months until the next rotation happens um the japanese format will be a bit some bit more similar to the you know to the english format but you're not here about that. You're here to hear see epic pools and packs opened. Um, yeah, I had such a great time at the GameStop. I think I got like a cool T-shirt as well. Um, just so many nice things in GameStop. Like in the UK, we're very, we're very starved for Pokemon stuff in general, and most of the, the high street retailers. Oh, speaking of Galarian Moltres, let's go. <laughs> That's really good, actually. This is like seven, eight dollars in the UK, so it's still a good pool. Um, it's one of the strongest, um, well, it's the strongest dark type card on its own. I you know, guess. I mean. Because you kind of, in the turn it as VMAX needs to be its whole deck, whereas um, Galarian Moltres V is just, just, you can just put that inside the Rapid Strike Urshifu deck, you can put that inside Sylveon um, VMAX, just like so many, so many decks can kind of use, use it just kind of like a splasher, which is quite nice, but yeah, um, four from the back, yes. But uh, where was I going? Yeah, so very happy to visit GameStop, I got a t-shirt, um, all sorts of other cool stuff. Um, and, and I was able to visit the Target, and I got the Mythical Squishy Premium Collection, which was 100% probably going to stay as a... I imagine it will stay as an American exclusive. Ooh, Celebi VMAX. I saw the glimmer of shiny behind, so I wanted to... I wanted to, you know, hold off my... My my reveal until I, until I said what I was going to say, but I can't even remember what I said now. Oh yeah, Mythical Squishy Box, but... Um, yeah, I was very happy to find that as well. So that made that just 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 a nice little, nice little thing to a nice little thing to, you know, open. And I know squishies are going to be cool. I might sell them separately at one of the comic cons coming up in the future. I, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. Right, we're down to the last three packs. Evolving skies. Let's see if we can finish with an alternate art card, or maybe even a secret rare. I'd absolutely love to see that secret rare Intellion, so I can put it in my inside my deck. <laughs> The um, Inteleon from Chilling Rain, um, is, it got reprinted as a gold card in Evolving Skies, as many of you may know. And it's a very strong card in a lot of decks, so I definitely would love to see that. Oh, there is something shiny at the back though, guys. Oh, this, this box has been very good to us so far. I think we've got another epic pull here. Oh, it's a shiny gold card, but it's not the Inteleon. Oh my goodness, I pulled this Chrysalia before. And um, my friend has pulled like three of these, but I don't think any of us has pulled the Inteleon yet. That's absolutely crazy. <laughs> Let's 4K this mother. Oh my goodness. So it's this is still a good card. Nice one-off in the Shadow Rider decks. Um, yeah, and this one's actually a lot more well, a lot more well centered. This is the one slightly well better centering than the than the last one I pulled. It's still not very, it's not, not overall great, but it's still nice to see a shiny gold Chrysalia. And I'm sure someone would absolutely love to get that for their um, Evolving Skies Master Set binder, or maybe someone who's playing, maybe someone who collects Chrysalias for all I know. I don't know. Leave a comment below. Do you know anyone that collects Chrysalias? I've never heard of such of a thing, but you know. <laughs> I know someone who has the world's largest collection of espers, and someone who tries to collect one of every Raticate. Shout out to Lee and Camillo, but I do not know um, a, a Chrysalia collector. Is it, are you a Bergmite collector? Please, you know, leave a comment below. Do any of your friends have bizarre collections of Pokemon that are, 
you know, guys, this is quite strange. So this is a legit pack, but look at the ink here. Um, it's going to be quite hard to tell, but it feels like they've double inked, like, the text on this. It's quite strange, this one. It almost looks fa it almost not. It's not fake, because obviously it came from the box, but it almost looks fake. That's crazy how they how they printed that. The, this one's fine. I wonder if the reverse... We'll check the reverse hollow in the next pack and see if... Yeah, it's very hard to tell on the camera, but trust me, it, look, it looks strange from here. Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, down to the last pack. I'm very happy to finally open the Gold Pikachu and Zekron Tag Team box. Um, yeah, it's just so nice to get that promo into my collection. And I hope that, you know, it comes to the UK at some point. Because I think in the United States, it's still an exclusive to uh, GameStop. Well, at least that's where I found it anyway. Maybe it's not just there. These cards also just feel like slightly warped. I don't know, it's just some strange cards. They're okay until these packs roll out and the nice wishy-washy. But... We don't care. We've got our gold Pikachu and Zekrom GX tag team card. Very happy to finally have this. And um, we're going to be opening the Reshiram and Charizard promo box very soon. So keep an eye out for that. But please leave a comment below. Um, are you a Pikachu collector? You know, in Europe, you haven't managed to find this box yet. You're desperate to get hold of this card. Um, have your Did you manage to get, like, I got, like, four hits from my box. Have you had managed to open this and get good hits? Please leave a comment below. Remember to like the video, it really does help. Leave, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, nearly at 3k. And I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Go to catch all. A huge thank you to all our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Play to Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Go to catch all.